sections where all the root lines are joining together so it's actually so damn simple and I hope um, it's actually worked with the color instance and I hope you already understand what it what is collection instance but if you don't just let me know in the comments below and before I jump um, into these scenes to show you around a bit I'll just open the blank scene here blender and let's for example I'm gonna add a cube and as you can see in the collections I literally put the cube inside this collections right let's just name it um, arrow ash so let's name this collection is ash and I'm gonna add the second cube to just duplicate it shift D and just duplicate it again so I have three cubes in this collections of ash right so what I have to do now is just um, use a collection instance shift a collection instance ash because that's the, the collection that we're gonna use and from here all you need to do is just for example um, with this collection instance you can move it uh, like anywhere you like first then you open this ash, um, the original uh, collections, and then all you have to do is just animate this object to wherever you want it to be. So for example, I could animate, if I press I, location, and then go to frame, let's make it um, 100, let's make, to make it to frame 100 to be that way. So you could see there, the instance is moving as well, right? So I and then location again, and then press the hover your mouse there in, um, in the timeline. So it will move normal um, like that, yeah. So, and just do the same thing with, with the others. So press I and then location again, go to last frame, let's move it there. I and then location and let's uh, go to the third cube here, press I locations, last frame, put it somewhere else, I locations. So that's uh, what you need to do. But remember, it doesn't have to be um, only locations. Because what happened now, if I just disable this ash, right? What's happened with the instance is just like that. And don't forget, if you duplicate it, it's still going to take the animations um, cache like that. Okay, it's still all of them connected to the original object. So now um, I was I was just only showing you the locations, but you can play with the rotation scale. For example, I'm gonna open again or um, enable the uh, the original collections ash collections. Let's see. I'm gonna delete this keyframes, the third cubes. Okay, then let's see. I'm gonna um, I location rotation scale okay and then let's go to less frame let's move it there and rr um, rotate like that and also scale it down like vanish maybe like make it really small and i location rotation and scale so what happens now if you disable you're gonna have that going on so you pretty much can do anything now right i hope you I hope you understand what is going on here but uh, also don't forget if you're not really familiar with the collection instance the origin if you realize this instance is actually in on um, the first cube because why in the first collections um, the original collections we put um, the group is literally in the first cube here I'm not sure if you know what I meant but if you put the um, put it like this like yeah put this the hole in the collections in the middle of the of this world origin and then the origin of the instance it will be in the middle okay so let's show you around a bit um, here I guess it will take some time to reload the materials it's quite lagging it's quite pretty um, heavy files here Actually, um, I was using uh, a 10k trees. So this, if you if you know, these trees are freaking 10k, mate. So that's actually insane. I'm just gonna delete that. Um, and just, I guess that's it for now. So I have this, and what I did is just I use lots lots of uh, 
collections uh, collection instance collection so if you could see here t call one and um, let's say for t call four select objects if I go here this is what um, collections instance of t call four and what are they they are this t call one until t call five is connected to the tg1 until ts2 what are tg1 tg2 ts1 ts2 tg1 is the original object see that is the original object same thing tg2 as well ts1 as well ts2 as well the, dif um, the difference between them is just i put uh, a different materials and variations of the wood planks and that's it Actually, there's a way of making them uh, variations much more flexible, but yeah, it's actually, actually actually easy. I'm pretty sure you guys can understand that very quickly. But um, you guys can just go to YouTube and just type um, um, Blender Object Info. I guess you you will find those kind of some videos explaining about it. But I'm still learning about it. Like I'm just still not that familiar with it. And yeah, so. I just have to like move in a keyframe this one and then move it somewhere else oh sorry like go to the last frame and move it somewhere else and keyframe like that so it will move and just and rest just like this cube and that's it all you need to do though like literally so if I go if I go back there is one cube little floating around see that because all of them are connected to the original object which is the TG1, TG2, TS1, TS2 so yeah that's for now and yeah just please uh, just please let me know in the comments below if you don't really understand much about collection instance yet because it's quite powerful it's the reason I'm only working with my laptop that I could make a really huge scene and it's still lagging but I render most of my works just 5 seconds or 10 seconds or maybe max would be like 30 seconds I don't want to go more than that so yeah I guess that's it for now so thank you guys for watching and see you next time